Good day, mates. Sit here again, here to bring you guys another commentary and a video, surprisingly enough. So, uh, very quickly, a shout out to Esther Cherry, one of the very friendly bishops in my guild, Gooby, um, who hitched me along the way as I was leveling up. Um, so, thank you very much. Um, so, today for the video, I'll be showing you guys a very quick uh, method to do the new uh, Towering Crown event. I'm sure all of you guys would have probably already known by now. But just in case you didn't, this is a very good method. So, this method was actually uh, recommended by Kira, um, very good friend. Thank you very much. Um, it's not a private method or anything. So, I'll share it with you guys and hopefully you guys can capitalize on this and do it quickly. So, um, I'll just show you guys very quickly what um, to do. Well, uh, there, it's really just nothing to show. It's just. A very quick video um, today. Uh, it'll be broken into two parts of me showing you this uh, method of doing the Tower Crown event and what I have planned for you guys, uh, which is just a quick update video, pretty much. So, um, head on over to Dimension of Asia BQ through the mirror and accept the quest and head on in. If you have a drop familiar, highly recommend it that you use it. Uh, just make things a lot easier and faster for you, to be honest. And so yeah, if this is a very fast method for me uh, as well, in my opinion, just simply because the mobs all spawn in this little, one little area here, and all you have to do is just kill them off and they'll just drop the stars without you having to run around the map and killing things. So with that being said, uh, just demonstrating really quickly how fast this is. So if you see, I already have... 13 stars out of the 30 that I need. And of course, sometimes you won't get all the stars in the first stage, but you should. And so you can carry on to the se uh, second or third stage, which also has higher concentrations of mods spawning in one area. But as you can see, I've already got 24 out of the 30 stars that I need, and it's only been uh, a minute? Or a little more, I don't know. Okay, so the only downside to this method is you do have to leave the Piku every single time you've successfully collected your 30 shimmering stars. But then again, you can only do this 10 times a day, and the same goes for the Dimension PQ, so this works out fine. So, um, just really quickly, some of you guys um, don't know what these crowns do. And so, I will show you guys very quickly what these crowns actually do. So, if you guys just have a look, these crowns actually give you a slight range boost. So, if you see 742k at the moment, if I lose it, I'll get about, yeah, about a k or so. And if I take it off, I'll lose that range again. So, like if you see, if I can keep taking them off, I'll lose more and more. But yeah, these give you a very good range boost for now, um, you can get like a few K boost out of this for not paying anything. So that's all there is to this Dimension Invasion PQ and the Towering Crown event. Just repeat and you should be finished within 5 minutes or 10 minutes, so then you can carry on doing whatever you want. Um, don't forget to do your attendance though. Um, so uh, what I have planned for you guys recently, uh, oh this coming week is a cubing video and a quick video since it's been highly requested and um, I feel obliged to do, do one. So the quick video that I'll be releasing very soon will not be a completed quick video as in the gears itself are not finished yet but I did obtain the new Fafna bow as you guys can see here and I'll be releasing a video of me cubing it soon. It's not finished cubing yet, so I won't release it just yet. I'll probably cube it a little more. And then I'll collapse all the videos, uh, small segments, into one video and upload it for you guys. And same goes for um, the possible cubing of my secondaries. So I'm trying to get one for bossing and one for mobbing. Um, other than that, that will be the cubing video, and I will also be doing a quick video just to show you guys my gears. I have most of the gears that I need at the moment, uh, but I still need to finish off them by scrolling or cubing. Now, 
these Eclipse when I show you will be nowhere near finished, but I guess it will be an update from my Mercedes video, since I did switch out a lot of the gears now, and I think you guys might enjoy watching it. Um, you guys should let me know if you guys want commentary with that, or you guys just want uh, music in the background. And if you guys want a detailed uh, equip video, or do you want just a very quick one where I skim over the equips and you guys pause the video and have a look yourself. Now, I also have to say, um, you probably noticed, uh, I haven't been uploading videos, uh, you would have noticed in the last video I did mention I had exams and assignments. Now, those, most of them are done. I still have uh, two more due, but there are a few weeks on. So I do have some time on my hands to do some videos for you guys, and I'll be happy to do for you guys. So, with that being said and done, I will definitely release a video very soon for you guys. And, um, oh yeah, that reminds me, some of you guys have asked me what my clean range is. So, I'll just show you guys really quickly. My clean range is 487k. Uh, well, 414k to 487k. So, not that impressive. I'll continue working on it uh, until I can probably get uh, a much higher one. And then I'll show you guys again. But um, as for now, this is what I am. Uh, this is how it is. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and stay tuned for the upcoming videos. And once again, thank you, Kira, for recommending this to me. Uh, saves a lot of time for me. And peace.